Hello, good day to everyone. This week's uh, workflow and tips, I am going to discuss about the, some of the announcements that we have done in Autodesk Moldflow Insight 2021. I hope you got a chance to install the updated version of Autodesk Moldflow Synergy 2021 and Insight 2021. What we are going to discuss is about the automatic packing. You already would have gone through the some of the materials that been floated onto the social media from our marketing team and product manager. One of the announcements uh, is about the automatic packing. So what these comprise of automatic packing is when we start the analysis, like an example over here, I have taken an example of an, uh, this toy. When you start the analysis, we really don't know about the packing pressure or the packing time to be set. So one of the best practice with a default setting that we go and try to do is, is setting the hold on pressure to the default packing profile that is given as 0 to 10 and 80% of the maximum fill pressure. What I did in today's example is comparing the two with the default way till date we were doing it and the automatic setup that we have come up for optimizing the packing. Now this works for the mid plane, dual domain and 3D. So before I go and demonstrate, let me tell you a, a little background. How does it works? So packing time is based upon the weight or the part weight till it becomes flat means there is no further increase in the part weight that act as the packing time. Packing pressure is calculated a little bit in very a complex way is it the threshold is set as 80% of the maximum injection pressure so it takes into account your processing settings as well or the ratio of the maximum clamp force to the projected area by 0.8 or 80% of the ratio of the maximum clamp force by projected area. So whichever like an, that, that acts as a threshold. Now if your injection pressure is more than this threshold value, uh, it sets to that, that limit value. But if your injection pressure is very less like in this case I'll show it in this one then or the VP switch over is very less than the threshold value it tries to increase your packing pressure to the to that limiting value either like the ratio of the 80% of the maximum clamp force by the projected area or 80% of the maximum whichever is the like a limiting factor let's go and see the comparison between i have taken this toy example i set up an automatic uh, fill time and you can see for this example is like 0.2 is that injection time that has come now the pressure values uh, will remain almost same because the my injection time is almost same. Now let's look at the um, average volumetric shrinkage value. So for the default one, the ratio is like 0.4 to 16%. And of course, in this case, it has been optimized like 0.8. So automatic way is tries to minimize your volumetric shrinkage. So in this case, it's like 0.8. 1.8 to 14.4 let's look at and check out the what are the different values of the of the volumetric shrinkage and you can see that the automatic one has optimized to the greater extent as compared to our default now this cannot be an optimized way but it is best to get started with it uh, let's look at the log values what it has to sh show in this case the by default it goes and check out the pressure or the till the pressure is like um, 10.2 because it's like 10.2 is the injection time and 10 seconds is by default like packing time let's look out in this case so it clearly mentioned that the packing per time has been little increase from 10 to 11.4 has been detected 
so it goes and check out till the time the we can add the continue to add the material in the in the part so that it minimize it, it so this has been automatically been adjusted it's a great way to get started rather than going with the default way and this gets applicable to the all inside series as well as for the advisor as well if you have an advisor and you want to use it uh, well automatic packing is available onto the advisor as well uh, let me show you an another example of it on a little bigger part um, this is a uh, let me put it in the vertical form and then this goes here okay vertical okay now I can see that this is a default packing and this is an automatic packing um, let's uh, check out the injection time for this I is almost same but log let's look at the log for the default one the log value should be close to 10 yeah this is what it goes and does the my packing till like 10.2 in this case it goes and does the packing only part 6.8.6 so it optimizes it is you can see in the earlier example it has increased the packing in this case it has reduced the packing um, let's look at the your uh, average volumetric shrinkage as well Ah, so in this case the default one is having a range of like 9 to 15 in this case it's like 3.2 and if you look at the exam it has optimized to a greater extent so as you will see the effect onto the warpage as well I could see the effect better in the case of the toy component as compared to this Vertical, okay, and just this, and let's look at the warpage values, deflection plot. Okay, in this case, by default, the auto pack shows the value of like 0 0.04 to 0 0.6 as uh, 0 0.06 to 0 0.7 in case of the default packing. And uh, let me lock the views as well. Okay, and if you go and examine 0.36 versus 0.33 it has optimized same as over here 0.32 versus 0.28 to get an extent it has optimized so give a try uh, again is not a the default uh, uh, best one optimized one uh, if you need more information about it uh, uh, look out for the what's new into the Autodesk small flow inside web page um, and uh, for in the solver enhancement you should be able to see the addition of the automatic packing how does it works if you need to deep dive on it i would suggest uh, going on to our manufacturing website autodays.com slash industry start manufacturing slash simulation hub and resources and then you can should be able to find the read report about the automatic validation report so this has the test examples and stuff like you want to try it at your end and how does it works as I mentioned that these are the things that works in optimizing the pressure so with that I hope the, this uh, tips and workflow video was helpful to you to get started with the automatic packing